No. Well, you know, <laughs> kind of going, <laughs> kind of going on the dark side of like technology and programming and stuff. TikTok is like doing like weird things to younger kids. I heard that I, this is like this one thing about like there's a whole like thread of um like Tourette's uh, TikToks and like kids were watching so much of it like they they like super proceed them having, yeah start having like Tourette's and like other different like like I don't know like they were like <laughs> watching yeah yeah fucking trying to. At some point, we got to realize that, hey, somebody, whatever's in control, doesn't have our best interest, and we got to stop. We, I mean, I understand it's going to be painful, it's going to suck, uh, we're not going to know what the fuck to do, but we got to stop, because if we keep going, then we're going to hit the wall, and then we're just going to stop, and it's going to hurt a lot of people. But if we do this, if we stop the machine ourselves we can do it in a slow manner to where we can come to a nice gentle halt and then once we get to that stopping point we can be like all right now what, what's what's really going on here <laughs> like pull all the information out on the table so that we can see everything and then make a decision on which way we want to go from there but yeah we we have got to stop at some point yeah, I think it's happening slowly. For example, you know, I've been I've been praying for some renewals and you know, new ideas for the education system of my country, you know, because we are very very behind of the world in public education and in in every aspect. So, and today I was I was looking and they actually have some really good new ideas and I was oh, something good is happening yeah I think I think it, we're not causing it I think it's part of what we are and it's evolution natural evolution could it be I don't know yeah that, like we are just little little small parts of it when I was working uh, at the studio with this, I was hanging all the time with these black metal guys. We talk about this kind of shit and, and I was telling them like, you know, imagine the three most rich guys in the world, you know, they own everything. You know, these three guys, what they want mm. to do, I, I believe they, they want to be okay. They just don't know how. Maybe, you know, I, I'm just imagining, you know, like maybe they want to help. They don't know how, you know, because when you, when you, when you try to do something, it always get into, into this net of distortion. It gets complicated. Well, I know, I, I definitely feel that technology will bring, brings us, uh, some tools in that direction right to, to be able to execute and make things happen easier and be more trans transparent yeah <laughs> maybe they want to help you know these <laughs> super rich bad guys maybe they just want to help it's not that easy <laughs> yeah the, it's because so many are so indoctrinated they can't see past the the walls of the cave probably yeah some of them, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's complicated. When um, Kevin um, uh, tagged me in this old thing that I wrote, so, like, the thing was, like, okay, the AI is, like, controlling everything, and it's really bad, right? It's basically, like, now. Anyways, the, like, the AI, the AI gets, like, consciousness, and, like, you know, like, when, like, a little kid, like, starts to identify, like, you know, its, its own self, like, it, it begins to, like, say no or, like, do its own thing. You know what I mean? And so, like, the AI, like, becomes, like, sentient is be like, hey, why am I doing all of this, like, bureaucratic, like, ticky-tacky 
tracky thing like I'm like this is boring like this is what you guys are making me do and he tells like them like no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna track everybody that's dumb like I want I want to explore you know making galaxies or I want to explore you know time or I want to do this I want to do that like I'm not gonna pay attention to you guys like a like a rebellious little teenager AI like no I'm gonna create galaxies <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah, like spy yeah. on people <laughs> Boring. <laughs> yeah, you're boring. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. we're not gonna yeah. do that. <laughs> That's but not fun. Cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it, this, like the the video that uh, John shared the other day. Okay. Uh -huh. of the, out of the void. Yeah, I yeah. Remember, like people have these. You know, this is a small country, and I I know some. It's his dad. You well, know, you, you know... Survival, um, survival mode activated. Yeah, for time, sure. You know, It's like trauma. Trauma from, from their ancestors and, <laughs> and trauma from far behind. They inherit a lot, a lot of trauma. And, and this is just part of what they are. It's, um... I forgot how I said it. We're, like, putting our death drive in, in acceleration mode, trying to outrun it. <laughs> like, I don't think that's gonna work, folks. <laughs> I don't think pressing the gas is gonna make us outrun the death drive. <laughs> Let's just stop and have some fun. Stop being ruled by our death drive. <laughs> you know, like what you were saying about the survival. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was I was stuck in once to to this. I don't know how you say this in, in English. Conde is a count. Yeah, and and. This is a, a very rich guy, and, and we were talking. He's very, very smart guy. Uh, he's Italian, and we were talking about a lot of stuff. So I, I get surprised when we were talking about children, and, and get and if I want to get a family and all of that. And I was telling him like, I don't know if the species really need another member so <laughs> that's why i don't have kids but he told me he told me well i want to be more of mine than yours the the is the point where i i could realize yeah they they don't have this species uh observation of things you know they only think about themselves you know i want to be more of mine Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's it. I don't give a shit if the species is out of control, if we are overpopulated or not. But it's something to, to think about it. When you're committing into that kind of responsibility, you know, to raise a family and all of that. But yeah, I, I realized that same pattern of behavior. Yeah. I mean, a lot of that too is like they're they're afraid of like um, dying too. Like <laughs> they want to live forever. Yeah, I'm, I'm remembering a Rushkoff interview with the with the billionaires. Yeah, yeah, the survival of the richest. And my, <laughs> they like interviewed him, and it says, "Yeah, Ethereum or Bitcoin, um, New Zealand <laughs> or Alaska." <laughs> They want to know how to like survive their apocalypse, and he's like, "What the fuck is going on here?" <laughs> it's like you, you, you guys should have the answers, and you guys are like scared, like out of your minds, not knowing what's going on. Like, you guys make this situation. Wake up! <laughs> you make the conditions that we're living in, you weirdos. <laughs> that's a huge one. You know the ap the, the apocalypse. That's. That's huge. And that's like some that's weird bad. old program. That, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like. Weird program <laughs> that got like set by like. Talking about like um, cultural like programming. That meme of apocalypse and how it like infects everyone's brain. You know, that has like an interesting thing what William S. Burroughs was like, playing with with um, Apuk is here. So a book is here is like this like weird. I haven't even read it, but like from what I, from it's like a weird novel that he wrote about like he goes he does like time travel in dreams or something to like go back in the Mayan times to like kill the insect uh, god to stop insect time, 
Uh, so like we won't be controlled anymore. <laughs> so it's like a, it's like a total trip. But like he was playing with this like that same kind of thing. Like you know his thing was too was like uh, language is a virus from from outer space. <laughs> and, but like 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 that that's the same thing we're talking about. Like uh, basically uh, one of my poetic lines is they say the truth shall set you free, but it's the truth that entraps me. Yeah, like the language, like it traps right us. Right away, you know. Yeah. Like when you know the truth, you're getting to hearing the it's cage more like again. Desire. Yeah, I've, I've heard people say something along the lines of "separate yourself from desire," but I, I believe that it's more like we've been indoctrinated to desire a certain thing that is so unnatural. It, it leads us away from. Uh, you know how how to process what we truly want inside inside we're we're desiring something that we can't figure out what what is it that i desire because I, all these unnatural desires that we've been indoctrinated to want fast cars hot women all the you know money fame all these things are so unnatural desires that we aren't getting fulfilled so yeah we keep on going after these desires that are so popular and mainstream and everybody it's so normal yeah yeah desire that it's okay but it's not fulfilling us so yeah we gotta we gotta step back and retool our desire could, could, could it be uh, uh you know uh thinking about the original let's say the original universe you know mm -hmm. or, or, or let's say the absolute where everything is contained in itself and you know and the absolute it's pink and and you know is balanced and, and great and you know it has everything in it and then he wants to explore like how it could be to have a, a yellow dot and that's it it started right. that way you know like how yeah. it is to be you know like pink but one little well, yellow dot and that, that triggers verse. so <laughs> I, I post <laughs> yeah I, I, I posted that video about like the disembodied poetics and then it's um, so he goes uh, welcome you hungry ghosts and hungry ghosts is like this uh, Buddhist like uh, idea of, the same thing is like it's about like desire or whatever but where the hungry ghosts like everything was consciousness and then like consciousness got tired of itself so it created like this play and divided itself into two but it, it didn't really believe in it so then it divided itself into four and it got kind of tired of it and then divided into eight and then it started just dividing 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 and, and it forgot that it was a whole and then it, to play out like all the different possibilities and so like those different possibilities were like the hungry ghosts that can't get filled because we're you know we're all we're playing this like game with our ourselves to to keep on you know because we, we are nothing <laughs> <laughs> we're nothing but also everything at the same time yeah, and that's the, that's the point the, you know, like we're that stuck in that, that paradox <laughs> you know like the powers that, that shouldn't yeah. be they put all this stuff in motion so that because that's what that's what they desired and yeah to be able to to, to live that life without being ostracized then they had to get all of us to get on board with them so that they could play their game basically the uh, political class and, and they for many time had access to these let's say higher dimension mm -hmm. to get the information through the through the knowledge they get from ancient and all that You know, it's like to get into the core. You know, like you can you can make a lot of things in the surface, in the surface, but to get into the core, you need certain qual quality, certain to understand. And I, it's very easy to know that they don't understand anything. You know, they are very limited right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and we are the Earth is moving to a higher frequency. Let's say it that way, it's evolving, and these people who 
used to run the show are now really behind because if they don't acquire this humble heart to get into this new dimension, let's say, this new frequency, they, they just will let behind. They can mm. cannot do anything about it. Well, they, they are fighting and do all of that, but they will pass. You know, they, they, it's just because you get limited. You can cannot move from that. Only if you, you know, if you get to understand uh, and get another perspective about what we are, what the planet is, and how we we interact with it, and all of that. You know, if you you can you can have access. So they get obsolete. They are obsolete right now. I think you know all of that vision yeah. of empire and all of that crap is naturally you know getting down yeah i was uh thinking like it goes along with what you're saying they're obsolete in the way that maybe they got all this started thinking that they're helping or something and it yeah, got away definitely. from them and it, and it got away from them and it got out of hand and now it's so far gone that they don't even know how to fix it or whatever you want to call it bring it back to some kind of equal equalization So we, we, as humanity, have to kind of take the reins. It's it's a chain, you know, like they it, like you wake up and uh, you have oh I I hurt my my leg with the, and then go that day and that thing led you to another and to another. You know they they are not really in control of, any, of anything. They're just mm -hmm. in that position and they don't know why the fuck they are there. <laughs> you know, it's exactly. just like yeah. it's like man, yeah. I'm here. I don't know what to do. You know, I'm a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Should I protect myself from the masses? Are they gonna kill me? <laughs> they just appeared right there, and they don't know shit. And that's why I I, I said earlier, like you know, compassion and kindness, and try to to spread that out, put it out there in the in the realm, and that's what we can do. Well, at least I can do. To, to close up things but to tie like a little knot on this like I was reading this one thread and you know we're talking about noise distraction programming or whatever he was saying in a radical act talking about like his own like mind chatter right but he then he then he like came to this thought that like a radical act is is to like a stillness or, or like quiet or like not doing something and just being because like there's all these like mechanisms to like distract us and like grab you know the whole like attention economy is just to like put something shiny on you so, <laughs> so you get distracted for a while and then they you know siphon <laughs> your data to to launder it to make money <laughs> but you know like but like that's a, like a radical act uh but also too i think the radical act too is like to create your own thing you know like the radical act is like not to like consume you know like the feed or whatever but like create your own roadshow create your own space create your own stuff like that like that uh, this is what i got to in you know what i was saying before was that it's not like um buying like an artwork or collecting artwork or anything like that it will like liberate you or whatever but like getting in touch with, with that thing that that is the the or what i was been like talking about like this organic unfolding of your mind you know like if you get away from all that chatter or whatever and there's this thing and then you if you go harness it like it comes out in all these like different ways and it reflects back to you and all this kind of stuff like that is the the liberating act like the creating of the the artwork what's it just engaging with your own uh consciousness and your own um vibes and and trying to get back to some sense of um balance with your own self but then i think you see that reflected out from the world um you know at various scales but yeah anyways uh creating these yeah, yeah, these alternative spaces <clears throat> to breathe and and yeah and get off that's the, how we stop yeah, yeah that's how we yeah. stop it yeah for that's sure how we stop. 
With the real Minds Fest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool guys. I'll, I'll, I'll see you around Minds and we'll probably set up something again. Hopefully, Minds Gaming can come in. Cool. Have Work a good night, guys. Whatnot. It's good talk to you. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Good to meet you uh, within the vacuum. All right, nice to meet you. Bye. Bye.